Hi, this is Sue Stamfield with SueStamfield.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make this cute bottle tag uh, for the holidays using the Cheerful Tags Framelit dies and a bunch of other fun dies. So let me, let's get started and take my tag off here. So the Cheerful Tag Framelit dies are quite a bit shorter than what I've shown here. We're going to do a little trick to make it longer. So this is when you cut the die, this is how it cuts. So it's short, uh, it has a decorative edge on the bottom, and it comes with the, the slots for the ribbon, so you can pull the ribbon through. So you can make an easy tag like this, along with a coordinating stamp set, um, and just hang it on your bottle. But I wanted to make a longer tag for my little Santa in the chimney here. So let me show you how I did that. The back of my chimney was a little bit messy, that's why I wanted the red to extend beyond. So I got the decorative edge on the top from the die, but I didn't have it cut the bottom. Um, so I've got my Big Shot die cut machine here, and uh, I'm using the standard platform. This is the newer platform. If you have the older style platform, that will work as well. You would just want to do it with all the tabs closed and cut on it that way. So we're going to start with a piece of real red cardstock and that is two and three eighths wide by seven and a half inches long. And we're going to lay that into our big shot on our cutting plate here. So these are the cheerful uh, tags framelit dies. It comes with a, this is kind of like a tag that opens with a note card and some decorative pieces and a smaller fold over tag. But we're going to use this piece and that's going to cut that shape. So this will be the hole for the neck of the bottle. So what I did is I laid my die onto my paper. If you can see here, I'll pull this one in. I definitely wanted the hole so that it would go over the neck of my bottle. And I wanted this upper portion, um, but I didn't want this lower portion. So with your Big Shot, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see that a little better. Um, you're going to take your top plate now normally if I wanted to cut this out in the exact shape of the die, I would just cover it with the whole plate and send it through. But if you don't cover part of your die, it will not cut. It will only cut the part that's covered up by the top plate to the top cutting pad. So you can see I've stopped the plate right um, above that uh, scalloped edge and right here because I don't want that part to cut. And I want to go ahead and send it through. Take off that top pad, slide it back through, and now when I pull off my die, cut that top piece, cut the hole, cut the slot and the upper edge, but it did not cut the bottom because the plate was not covering it up, so it wasn't thick enough to press down and cut that part. So pretty simple. Um, that's how you can adapt some of your dies to different projects by just not cutting them all the way. So let's, let me walk you through the rest of this project. So the chimney comes from the Hearth and Home Framelit dies. And the Hearth and Home Framelit dies has this window frame die and a window box. And the window box is going to form the mantle for our fireplace. We're going to just simply trim out the bars of the window. So I'll grab my paper snips here. So now it becomes a chimney when we back it with another piece of paper. So we're going to uh, back it with a piece of Whisper White that we've run through um, with the brick embossing folder. Now we got the idea for this um, project from a card I saw on Pinterest uh, done by Liz Miller um, and I didn't really have instructions, I just kind of copied her, her picture so mine may not be exactly what she did, it's pretty close though, but instead of a card I wanted to do it as a bottle tag. So, um, so that's the back of our chimney. Now before we glue that together, we're going to want to go ahead and add in our legs for Santa. So the legs are also real red cardstock and they're cut at 5 8 inch by 1 inch and you want two of them. 
So you can glue the legs on actually right up here at the top because you're going to cover that up with the window box which is going to become our mantle. Just like that. So don't worry about having to get those legs behind this portion. Um, and then we're going to use our stockings. So the, the boots, Santa's boots, were cut with the stocking die. Um, the Christmas stocking die has um, lots of different shapes of stockings and you can make super cute cards uh, with it. Like these three right here. There's two of them. And this one I think is one of my favorites with the, the snowflake stocking. But it also comes with a smaller stocking and so I just cut two of that in the basic black and flipped one over to make the right and left feet. And um, these go under the, uh, the little red piece for the leg. And then for the cuff, um, I used a punch. I used the um, Jolly Hat Builder Punch. And that actually cuts, it's for the trim of the, the Santa hat, the Santa hat or the Jolly hat that you can punch with that. I don't know if you can see this is the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, so it's really shiny. So what I did is I took my snips and this cuts really five little scallops. I just wanted three of them. That's about the right size for the top of my boot. So just round that off with your scissors and then you've got the fur to put at the top of the boot. Like that. So that came from a punch. And then the word Noel um, is also in the hang your stocking die. So I just cut that out of the gold foil and to put at the top of the mantle there. And this is the stitched edge real red ribbon. Um, now the holiday catalog will be leaving at the end of this month. Uh, today they just came out with the uh, list of what is going to be uh, um, closing out from that, what will not be carried over. Some of it as at a discounted price, and this ribbon happens to be one of those things that is at a discount right now, so you might want to check that out. So that is the quick and easy way to put together your, um, your Noel tag with Santa coming down the chimney. And I did attach it to the the base with some dimensionals. You can see them in there between, sandwiched in between. So again, the tag was a two and three eighths by seven and a half. And the legs were two pieces, five and an eighth by one. And then the chimney piece is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then you just need some scraps of the craft cardstock for the hearth and home uh, window framelits and window box. A, a gold foil scrap for the word Noel and then some basic black scraps for the two small stockings and then little dazzling diamonds glimmer paper for the fur on the boot using the Jolly Hat Builder Punch. And that's all, all there is to making this fun tag for the holiday season. So go ahead and check out my blog www.suestampfield.com for the additional post that has all of the supplies used in this project. Thanks and happy crafting. Bye-bye.